what's good youtube today we have another market watch and we're starting off with the crystal wing synchro dragon hype here but it's not necessarily hype because it is one of the best cards in the game moving forward the wind witches are going to need them very badly but here's actually what's happening ddd format is going to be here for about a month and i call it ddd format because the structure deck's coming out and i think people are going to have been well practiced with the deck already we've seen at top regionals without the power up of the structure deck and in japan a lot of people want to point this out to me so i'm going to say what they're saying in japan it's hit pretty bad so that's kind of why it's not around so here it's at full power and it's going to mesh into the junishishi slash zodiac beast it should be very interesting to see how that goes but the wind witches need this card and the ddds need this card and the lowest mint is actually 50 dollars uh over here on tcg and there's very very few only three and over here on ebay the lowest seems to be about 48.5 ish and it quickly rises to 50 as well and uh quite a few more uh we see a lot of korean ones if you if you're looking for it you're gonna have to scroll through a lot of korean ones but overall i think this price i i should have told people to get them now uh when it was 40 if i was thinking about the ddd deck but i was not so thinking further on the ddd deck and things people might not have thought so much about formula synchron this is the secret has been around this price for a very long time and i would think maybe it's something good to get uh overall formula synchron if you recall is from stbl on its original one of the hardest sets to get cards from as you see the lowest mint over here is five dollars uh for the rare the uh cheapest is actually the original gold rare i believe nope it's uh about five dollars as well so the p gold is the cheapest but yeah the only printings of this are a uh, legendary collection two gold rares and stbl so uh it's the secret rare kind of the highest rarity but again a very hard rare to get and uh we go over here as you see 750 lowest you can save about 50 cents on a uh secret with the wrong picture so that's always scary and then 850 but i do think uh this card has always been pricey because it's used in those fun Quasar decks. A lot of the fans like to get it. It has that nice collectability mesh with the mesh of being very, very playable as one of the best cards. Uh, very memorable from plant format, so people that are making plant format decks want this card. Just a very good card in general that lets you synchro during your opponent's turn as well. Uh, I think I just saw Kamina Cat's new 101 for the DDDs. Go check that out if you haven't. Really amazing stuff. But I, I liked how he actually trished uh, in DDDs on his opponent's turn. Uh, not that I would be suggesting to do that. Another investment card, potentially. Uh, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries is about back to its all-time low. If you remember during that season, it fell to 18 and it never really fell below that. 20 bucks is pretty darn cheap for this card and i would highly uh, suggest that if you're wanting to play this card to get it now it will not fall any lower than this in my opinion and i think we'll be seeing a spike before a reprint ever if it even gets reprinted in the megatons but i'm betting she'll be in the megatons as ghost ogre was one of the promos for the last one i would imagine she'll end up being a promo but for the next half a year uh i do not think we will see her reprinted before that and i think it would be very wise to have yours now and uh, it's actually more expensive already on ebay that nice fight back and forth of why you should be checking both of these uh yeah ebay's actually more expensive so uh if you're wanting to get them now for 20s here's a playset right here 20 there's another playset at about 20 so first come first serve uh I really do think that if you are getting them, get them now. Uh, it's definitely the lowest we will see this card. Chain Disappearance Hypu. Uh, Chain Disappearance uh, Super went way up, spiked hard. I believe the first person to actually cover this was Inch95, uh, talking about uh, anti-Junishishi techs. And uh, after that, it did seem to spike fairly hard. This, this person has 26 of them and wants 30 apiece. But we come over to eBay and we see under half that price. Uh, $14, $15, $15. Uh, this card has come back and forth out of, in and out of relevancy before. I don't know how good of the option it really is against the Zodiac B slash Junishishi. It is a decent option. Uh, but 
I don't know. It's it's rough because uh, we now have a card called Pot of Equivativeness that can come in if this becomes the true problem. So I don't know how long this is going to stay uh, the problem if that cycles back in. Uh, Utopia the Lightning Hype. Again, uh, people always love to comment on this. You can get it in the magazine, John. Well, if you can get it, go get it because most of the magazines are sold out. And a lot of the magazines that are left in these stores... Uh, unfortunately, people just took these out of it without buying the magazine. But as you see, uh, 27 and 30 for the Ultra, and the Super has that hype. And this Super is English, so it is harder to get. But again, I want to stress to my viewers, just go and get yourself a German one off of eBay and write down a translation. I know people like to have their English cards, but having a translation is not that hard of a thing to do. Save yourself what is that uh, about a third of the price and just have yourself a german uh, i like germans it says blitz and that's one of the cool german words in my book but yeah definitely just save yourself the money don't uh, don't bother buying an english if you need this card still get yourself a german one big uh investment card that i've been thinking about is book of moon book of moon has a lot of hollow versions the cp has always been worth a lot of money but we're finally about to see it start being teched in uh, during Junishishi format, probably. And uh, there are some very cheap versions of the uh, the hollowed out versions. As you, we see here, a dollar is the lowest uh, near mint, it looks like, for the secret rare Apex cards. Shoutouts to Matt Gucci uh, and Epic Cards and Games. Uh, I believe that has uh, their fingerprints on that. But Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's World. The, the Yugi's World always worth more than the Joey's World. But actually, the Joey's World we see uh, the cheapest is a dollar thirty-seven. I'm not I'm not pulling up eBay on these mainly because it's so cheap. We're talking about dollar investments here. Uh, if there was a need to go look on eBay and you want to go check it out, check it out. Um, it's just a bit of extra work. But yeah, we're talking about dollar secret rares. They look very nice. Uh, but the uh, real kind of investments, the the P gold, P gold two, as we saw, uh, actually trending downwards. Uh, you can snap up a lot of these quick. Look at this, 45 cents from Pro Play Games. Uh, ten, you can snap up that many. 36 cents, no limit gaming, 18 of them. Like This would not be a terrible investment. At worst, you have a bunch of GOAT format hollowed out stuff that doesn't look that good with the P Gold compared to these secret rares. But I would think all these have the potential to spike, especially the dual terminal version. But we... Uh, we go a ways before seeing a near mint at $3, but still $3 for DT Book of Moon rares. Uh, DT3 at that, a set that didn't really get rebought out like the Trishula set. I would have to say that this would be the best to go ahead and pick up. It looks super nice. It looks amazing. I would get yours now if you are wanting it. Uh, definitely something you could enjoy somewhere else like a GOAT format deck and feel proud of. So I, if you're looking for a hollowed out version of Book of Moon, get this. But again, for you that are like, oh, well, there's the commons. Yeah, the commons are almost nothing. You can go find certain commons for quarters. But actually, a lot of the commons on uh, TCG Player were more expensive than the uh, P-Gold version, interesting enough. Vanity's Emptiness. Uh, the Secret Rare version has actually crept up to... Um, the cheapest non-light played is about $18 on TCG Player. And I just wanted to highlight this card again. Uh, people are speculating, will it get banned, will it not get banned? Uh, but the uh, low secret, again with the wrong picture, so always scary because of the secret forces. But it says the 5Ds world newly listed $14 before $15. So again, save yourself some money coming on over to eBay if you're wanting a hollowed variant of a staple you definitely want to now this is something that people somehow accused me of hey john i know you invested in rare fresh and hyped it a lot but you know you should show off it's on i did not invest in this card i tried to buy three germans which is what's happening to our market uh so all over in germany and uh over in the european nations uh, their card market sells these for $2, and finally they realized, hey, we can sell them to Americans, and all that's finally come over here, so people have bought a ton of European ones, they're finally flooding our market. Uh, I guess they just were either opened more, or the demand was so much less, because there's so much, many fewer uh, European players compared to American overall that it flooded over here or maybe they just don't buy hype because there were 1600 plus people at Bolcom but 
definitely interesting to see it fall uh you know how it has seven dollars lowest and then uh we but it's played so the lowest near mint is actually 10 50 and we see it's still over 12 dollars on tcg player and the red going down but I, I definitely did not invest in this card. All I was doing was showing it off and where it was at. Just because I'm talking about a card does not mean I've made a personal uh, investment towards it. So our final card here, our cards, I just wanted to go quickly over the Infernoids. This was at 5 recently. We see it spike hard. Uh, I'm going to do all the Infernoids here at once. So yeah, we see uh, normal market price 430 had fallen back down to five. We see that bump down. Well, we're back. Uh, uh, everybody just seems to be buying out the Infernoids. The Ultimate Rare Tierra, I believe, was all the way down to like $2. Uh, you see the regular price 366, about doubled. Uh, this just seems to be a common trend with all the Infernoids. Um, Decatron holding out at $5. Remember, uh, and people have tried to correct me. This does not have a Mega Pack at all. Decatron, this is its only version. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't, I still don't get why people think that it has a Megaton version. Uh, Hammerdick, uh, actually sitting at three now. I remember when it was down to a dollar. Sad days. Uh, Patrula Super, very cheap right now. Daviati still sitting at above 21 on TCG Player. Uh, I remember it was a, about the same on eBay a couple days ago. So, following from that 25 point, 20 percent no joke. And uh, actually, let's go back to those secret Anunchus. Uh, the Mega Pack's still very, very cheap. It looks like $1.75 cheapest, but the OGs going up to threes plus. I guess people really like that version of it. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, is the Book of Moon a good investment? What version would you be getting? The secret or the DTs? Would you be playing an Ultra Lightning over in English? Just uh, having to write out a translation? I know that is a lot of text, but for saving yourself, uh, you know, 3x, I would get the German version myself, uh, specifying the German version. Uh, chain Disappearance going up. Will you be protecting this against Juni Shishis? And Ghost Reaper, do you want? And what is DDD doing to us? And will you be getting your formulas now or later? Will you be playing DDDs? Let me know all this in the comments below. And let me know any cards I may have missed on this Market Watch to cover in the next one. But we're getting back to our regularly scheduled tournament program. So we should have some duels for you all coming out this week. Thanks for watching.